Donald Trump Jr. is praising ABC's Roseanne reboot after it debuted to stellar ratings and overperformed in middle America. This episode is brought to you by The Americans. The final season premieres tonight at 10 p.m. on FX. The president's son took to Twitter on Wednesday to celebrate the success of Roseanne Barr's rebooted sitcom. In the latest version of the show, Barr's character is a supporter of President Donald Trump. In a tweet quoting the numbers from the sitcom's premiere, Trump Jr. wrote, Wow, amazing, and congrats, Roseanne. If you're not too busy already, maybe work in a late night show too. Seems there's some demand for an alternate viewpoint. Barr, who is outspoken on social media, has come under fire for some recent statements. In deleted posts, she has criticized Parkland teens and has often voiced support for President Trump, who she has said she voted for, which is often seen as a rarity in Hollywood. Trump Jr.'s tweet not only praised the comedian's ratings, but also criticized the current crop of late-night hosts, whose politics heavily skew left and who Trump Jr. has openly taken issue with on social media in the past. The Roseanne reboot premiere came in as the highest-rated regularly scheduled scripted show for the last few seasons, and the highest-rated sitcom broadcast in over three years. But, not so surprisingly, New York in Los Angeles were not the markets where the show was the most dominant. According to Nielsen Media's metered market ratings, Roseanne scored the highest in Tulsa, Oklahoma, the country's number 62 market, with just over 500,000 TV-watching households, outperformed the national average by 60%, with an average 19.0 overnight rating. And the market with the highest percentage of TV-watching households tuned into Roseanne was also in central time. An impressive 29% of Kansas City's Tuesday TV audience was watching Roseanne. Across all of Nielsen's metered markets, Roseanne averaged a robust 11.9 rating among households and 20% share of the audience. Other overperforming markets include Cincinnati, number two, Pittsburgh, number four, and Chicago, number five. The latter, TV's number three market with nearly 3.5 million TV-watching households, helped Roseanne considerably. The iconic sitcom is set in Illinois, so read into that what you will. For much more on the Roseanne reboot, head to THR.com and let us know if you tuned into the premiere in the comments. Until next time, for the Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Tiffany Taylor.